My name is David Nelson within Mozart's Footsteps and in this video I'm going to read a little out of my latest book, The Salzburg Music Guide. Over the years I've been very fortunate to be very involved with music and travel and I've written three books. The first book came out in 2006 and is entitled Vienna for the Music Lover and was initially published in English and in German and two, two years later in 2008 it came out in Chinese as well. My second book, The Vienna Music Guide, was published also in English and German in 2013, and last year, 2015, saw the publication of my Salzburg Music Guide, also in two languages. Today, I'm going to read part of the Salzburg Music Guide. Part one of my favorite sites in Salzburg is St. Peter's Church, and here's what I wrote in the guide. The most important performance to take place in St. Peter's Church was Mozart's C minor Mass on October 26, 1783. The background is that shortly after Mozart left the employment of Salzburg's Archbishop Colorado and was living on his own in Vienna, he fell in love with Constanze Weber. Mozart's father Leopold strongly disapproved of the romance, especially when there was talk of a wedding. Wolfgang did not even tell his father about the wedding until after it had taken place in Vienna's St. Stephen's Cathedral on August 4, 1782. In an attempt to appease his father, Wolfgang promised to write a mass to be performed when he brought his bride to Salzburg for the first time. Constanze even sang one of the solo soprano parts. Even though Mozart had started work on the mass in summer 1782, he had not finished it in time for the first performance, so only a few movements were performed. The church and cemetery are also important locations for both Michael Haydn and for Mozart's sister Nannerl. In a small chapel on the right side of the, of the interior of the church is a monument to Michael Haydn. The black urn next to the cross originally held Haydn's head, but this was later moved to the cemetery to join the rest of his remains. In the same chapel is a commemorative plaque dedicated to Nannerl. St. Peter's Cemetery. One of the most frequently visited sites in Salzburg is this beautiful cemetery. It was first mentioned as the cemetery of St. Peter's Abbey in a deed from 1139, and the oldest tombstone dates from 1288. The origins of the cemetery probably date from around 700, when St. Peter's Abbey was established by St. Rupert of Salzburg. The graves of Michael Haydn and Nannerl are in a communal crypt at the entrance to the catacombs. The cemetery was also the model for the graveyard scene in the end of The Sound of Music. Of course, the film differs in that the von Trapp family was able to hide behind a large gravestone, whereas in St. Peter's Cemetery there is no room behind these tombs. The cemetery in the film was a set constructed in Hollywood. St. Peter's Square. This quiet square is the center of St. Peter's Abbey, an active monastery. To the right side of the entrance to the church is Peter's Keller, a historic and well-known restaurant in Salzburg. A plaque above the door reads, since 803, Charlemagne ate here that year, making this restaurant the oldest in Europe. One of the rooms of the restaurant has a large plaque dedicated to Michael Haydn, who was a frequent guest here. Apparently, he enjoyed his drink so much that after he was hired as organist at the Holy Trinity Church in Salzburg, Leopold Mozart wrote, He will be an expensive item, as after every litany he swills a quart of wine. The religious order of St. Peter's produces its own wine, and that's available for purchase in the Peter's Keller today. Thanks for listening.